Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of Fishing ATX. I am meeting you guys from the lake. That is because I am in my very own fishing boat, the Pelican Bass Raider 10E. Yes guys, I have finally gotten my very own fishing boat. I am so freaking happy and excited to show it to you guys. Today, I'm just gonna be talking about my experience with the boat so far as I have had it for about three weeks now, giving you my honest review and opinion on it. And then later on in the video, you're gonna get to see my first time ever fishing out of it. As you can see, I'm actually on Lake Austin right now. I'm getting ready to go do some fishing, but I had to film this intro and let you guys know and I thought no better place to do it than out on the water as you can see so we're gonna be talking about some features that this boat offers and then my honest opinion on it and how much I like this boat because I'll tell you guys it is a really awesome boat so first off we're just gonna talk about the specs of the boat it is 10 feet 2 inches long it's 50 inches wide and it only weighs 145 pounds that's probably the best part about it guys because I was trying to decide between getting either a metal or a plastic John boat ended up going with plastic just because it's so much lighter this is the lightest one on the market so even with one person in a dog it is extremely easy to move and then if you have two friends obviously it is super super easy like you and a buddy you know it is so easy to move around so that's why I love about this boat so much is it's so light really easy to move you don't even need a trailer for it I can literally just put it in the back of my truck it makes it very very easy for someone like me who doesn't have a whole lot of money you know to buy a bunch of accessories for it along with that I've added a trolling motor to it as well which only adds another extra about 30 pounds or so so it's really not that bad even with the trolling motor on it which if you want to you can actually take it off but even with the trolling motor on it's only about 170 pounds so again very very, very light and easy to move around. So the boat comes with a lot of interesting features, especially for something that's not too expensive really. You're really not gonna break the bank of this boat at all. So it comes with two swivel chairs. I'm sitting in one right now. And then it also comes with two side gunnels. You can easily put your rods on, which is really nice. There's a lot of cup holders inside of them too, which makes it very, very nice and convenient to put stuff in and hold your rods on. And it's very, very sturdy, you know? I mean, it's not, your stuff's not going anywhere if you put it on it. So I really do trust them. It has two handles up front that you can use to carry the boat with, which is very convenient, especially if it's just me taking them. You I can grab those front handles and then put a dolly on the back of the boat and just wheel it around. It also has something really cool that comes with it. It has a little wiring system. It has a 12 volt wiring system for your trolling motor and it wires all the way up to the front of the boat. So right now I actually have my trolling motor on the back so I'm not using it but once I put a fish finder in here I'm just going to wire a little battery in the back and then I can take it to the front. And there's a little 12 volt plug in that you can plug in up front so you can wire your stuff throughout the boat without having it go on the deck. So it's really really easy and convenient. I don't know if there's any other boats in its price range that do that so that is really freaking cool. This boat is also extremely durable and sturdy. That's also another reason why I bought it. It has this Ramex technology that only comes with these Pelican boats. It has three layers of really strong enforced plastics. I mean, I can beat the crap out of this thing, really. I don't have to go, I don't have to go easy on this thing. I can just beat it into stuff, and there's gonna be no issue of this thing breaking or getting a hole in it. It's also UV protected too, so I can leave it outside. I actually store it inside because I don't want it, you know, getting damaged or anything. But if I wanted to store it outside, I could easily do that and have no issue with it. All right, guys, this is Fishing ATX from the future. I completely forgot to mention one thing earlier when I was talking about the boat, and that that is how stable this thing is. I can't believe I actually forgot to mention it. This boat is incredibly stable. I mean, I can stand up on it in the middle of the lake, have no issues whatsoever. I can rock around, I can stand on the gunnels, no issues whatsoever. Incredibly stable boat. It has a little pontoon style underneath, which makes it really, really stable. I mean, you can literally just rock around just like this. I can stand up and fish just fine. I can literally take this on the main lake as I was earlier. I can handle waves from speedboats and stuff in this boat with no issue whatsoever at all. This boat is incredibly stable. And I want to make sure you guys knew that. So with that, I'll let Pass Fishing ATX take it away. I cannot believe he forgot to mention that part. So now here's some modifications and things that I added to the boat. Obviously, I already told you about the trolling motor in the back. I added that. It's a 45 pound thrust trolling motor, which I got to tell you guys, this thing, even with two people in it, really, really moves with 45 pound thrust trolling motor. I mean, it's just a five-speed Minn Kota, 45-pound thrust. I mean, this thing probably goes up to 10 miles an hour with just me and it, probably eight with another friend. So you, you can put an outboard motor on it. People say that you can do that. You can have an outboard motor up to 3.5 horsepower in this boat, but I really don't see any reason why to get one. So if it's just personally, I would think you, all you need is a trolling motor of 45 pounds of thrust or more. You can go more if you want, but it's really, it's not necessary to put an outboard motor on this thing. I mean, literally a trolling motor can move this thing really fast. That's another advantage of it being so light. And now right now too, you can see how these little seat cushions in the seats. The seats are honestly really comfortable, but I am going to be replacing them and putting bass boat seats in eventually because you can get them pretty cheap you know from like walmart or academy um nothing wrong with these seats they're honestly really comfortable considering the plastic so don't don't take that as a bad thing you know i'm just replacing them just for a little bit of extra comfort for myself you know but these swivel seats are honestly pretty good as they come and then i'm gonna be adding a fish finder and a couple extra things along with that you know probably some extra rod holders and stuff along just to make this a complete boat i mean it's gonna be really tricked out and decked out when i'm done the last modification i'm gonna be making is i'm going to be putting in a carpet on the floor that's the only the only downside i would say the only con 
to this boat is that the, the ribs, the little floor it has already is not very comfortable. It's kind of a ribs design and it's just, when you stand on it for a really long time, especially for someone like me who likes to go out and fish for a really, really long time, you know, over six hours on average, it can get really uncomfortable after a long day. So I'm going to be adding a carpet to it, which most people have also said to do that. It's really not that expensive. You can literally just go get a doormat and put that in. So I would say that is one modification you want to make if you want to be a little more comfortable. But other than that, this boat is pretty great. I mean, it's it stays on the spot really well, especially considering how light it is. Other than that one con there, I would say it's pretty much flawless boat, especially for the price range you're getting it at. And then the last thing I have in here is about a 70 pound battery that has 100 amp hours to go along with my trolling motor. If you're going to have a trolling motor only in here, I was going to say to get a battery with a high amp hour percentage. Like mine has, you know, 100 amp hours, which lasts this trolling motor on full power for about 20 hours or so. So plenty enough time. If you're going to do that, if you're not going to get an outboard motor, just make sure you get a battery with a higher amp hour. So you're not, you know, going to risk running out. And even at then bring a paddle out here. I always have a paddle just in case, but just make sure you get a battery with a little bit higher amp hour. And even this battery is 65 pounds and it still does not affect the boat that much. So you can definitely get a little bit bigger, heavier battery. With that guys, I just want to say I absolutely love this boat so much. Now you're going to get to see my first ever time fishing out of it. I've been doing a lot of fishing out of it the last few weeks, but you'll get to see my first ever experience and you'll get to hear me firsthand review this thing for the first time ever. I got to say, I absolutely love the Pelican Bass Raider 10E without a doubt. Now you guys will get to see me fishing out of it for the first time. Well, here she is guys. Look at that, out in the water, all set up and ready to go. We are ready to push her in. <laughs> I've been so freaking excited. Like literally last night, trying to sleep, it was literally like it was Christmas Eve for me. I was just so excited all night. This has been something I've been waiting for for almost my entire life now. And to actually have it happening, it's pretty freaking ridiculous. I cannot believe it. I finally have my own fishing boat. Let's get fully in the water here and then I'll hop on. And we are officially in. This area over here is pretty shallow, so I'm going to try and get out just a teeny bit before I put the trolling motor in. I just cannot believe this, guys. So basically what we're going to be doing today is I'm going to be going around the entire pond, and we have pretty much all day, so we have a ton of time to be fishing here. And I'm, I'm not sponsored by Pelican or anything. I have no affiliation with them whatsoever. Just going to be doing an honest review for you guys and see how I like this thing. Everything I've heard about this boat has been really, really good, so that's the main reason I bought it. And so far, I'm really, really liking it. Extremely stable right as most people were saying. And as you may have noticed too, all my rods have the little preservers on them. <laughs> That's just be safe. This gunnel's pretty sturdy over here, I would say. I don't think I'm having any issues of rods going over, but just in case, you know, I knock one out, just want to be safe. These rods are expensive. Thank you, plane. And I just want to make sure that, you know, I do pretty much everything in my ability that if a rod does for some reason go over, it's not going to hurt me in any way. I'll be able to just grab it back out of the water because I have lost rods before on boats just like this. And trust me when I say it's not a fun experience. All right, now the water's gotten a little bit deeper. We can drop this baby down. Let's crank her up and see what she's got in her. Oh yeah, jeez. Okay, yeah, we can really, really move if I need to. That is awesome. There we go, there's a fish. First ever fish. Yes, sir. Come here, buddy. First ever fish out of the John boat, guys. There we are. Whew, buddy, it's cold. Yeah, the water, like I said, is pretty chilly. There we are, man. Look at that. First ever fish out of the John boat. Saw a little healthy one pounder. Really good bite and fight by him. I just love it, man. First of many, I'm sure. Let's get him back. Well, there we go, guys. We are officially on the board with a fish and a new chapter of my fishing career has started, man. I'm so happy. <laughs> Didn't really take that long even. That was only like probably 10 minutes at the most, maybe 15. He was just sitting real shallow up by the bank picked it up and he was kind of just messing with it for a while and then I eventually got him to fully commit to it. Gotta say, boat was incredibly stable, so I'm really happy with how it held up there. There's a fish right there. Another one. <laughs> Another one pounder, literally right in front of the boat. It's only about two minutes after the last one too. This guy's certainly not as fat as the last one, but it's a fish, number two in the day. That's a very good sign to see how well they're eating, considering how cold this water is. This water's a lot colder than the last few times I've been here, and it doesn't seem to be affecting them, <laughs> as we already have two fish in a matter of like 20 minutes. So that is a really, really good sign, guys. Quick little intermission real quickly. We're picking up my friend Pierce, waiting for him to come down here.
Alrighty folks, got a little midday update for you. Um, you've not seen any more fish since those first two I caught this morning. The reason for that is I have not caught any more fish <laughs> since this morning. I don't know what happened. It was really good the first 20 minutes I got out of here, caught two fish almost on back-to-back -back casts. You know, I was thinking it was going to be another really good day. And after that, the bite has just been dead. I think I've had one in the last hour and a half. So definitely been a struggle. We just got to find them again. Still trying some spots over here. If none of this works back in this cove, we'll keep moving. We'll go back to the spot where we were catching fish earlier, or at least I was. So I don't know, it's been a little bit of a struggle. Kind of surprising for this pond. I think it's just because the water is a lot colder than it normally is. There we go. First fish in a while. There we go guys, first fish in a really, really long time. Barely felt him bite and then I waited a second and he came back and got it. Fish number three today, it has been a struggle to say the least. <laughs> the wind has been absolutely kicking our butt. Oh, we'll take this guy for sure. I'm fish number three now, yeah, it's been so long, I kind of forgot where we were. Fish number three today, let's get him back. Alrighty folks, well, just took about a, I would say, good 30 minute break or so, I really needed it. Day's been pretty tough so far, but we're gonna head back out. We did have to drop Pierce off as well, so he is no longer with us, unfortunately. But it's all good. We're gonna do the best we can to head back out here and catch as many fish as we possibly can. That was a bite. Stay on it, fish. Come back. Dang it, it's getting bit there. It's a good sign. Oh, that's a fish right there. There we go. Fish sitting right in front of me right there. Ha <laughs> ha. Just sitting down, minding my own business, knowing the camera's about to die and literally get bit right in front of me. Fish number four on the day. You know it's a tough day when the Cinco is the only thing I can catch them. I mean, I've been throwing all my baits a lot and the only thing they're biting is the Cinco. All about the same size. Another pretty small fish, but we'll take it. Number four on the day. Get it done again out of the boat. I gotta tell you, the seats on this boat are pretty comfortable. I'm not gonna lie, I was just sitting there chilling, relaxing, minding my own business, you know, not having many bites. <laughs> and we get bit again and we catch another fish. These seats are actually pretty comfortable. I'm, I'm probably gonna replace them eventually at some point just because I wanna get different seats, but not gonna lie, especially for considering they're just plastic. I like these seats a lot. There we go. There's a fish. Number five of the day. Just a little guy, really, really pale. I thought he was a catfish at first, just the way <laughs> how pale he was. Sorry, buddy. There we are, number five. Fat little pale dude. Let's get him back. Well, all right, folks, I really hope you did enjoy this review. I hope I made some good points that help you either decide to buy this thing or not. If you did, remember to leave a like and subscribe to my channel, Fishing ATX, if you are new. Also, go follow me over on Instagram. It'll be linked down in the description below, along with a link to go buy the Pelican Bass Raider 10E. Gotta tell you guys, it's a great boat. I would definitely recommend checking it out, especially if you're on a bit of a budget. Anyway, guys, that's about it. I will see you folks next time back out on the water.